In this video, we're going to be looking at a very particular problem uh, where I've been given the matrix A, this 2 by 2 matrix, 2, 3, 1, 4, and we want to find another 2 by 2 matrix such that, um, called B, such that AB is equal to I, the identity matrix. So effectively, what we're saying is that I want to multiply 2, 3, 1, 4 by a matrix B. I don't know any of the elements, so let's call them A, B, C, and D. And when I multiply them together, I get the identity matrix, 1, 0, 0, 1. So what I need to do is I need to multiply these two matrices together. So what's going to happen is I'm going to get 2, 3 times A and C, so 2A plus 3C. I'm going to get 2 times B, 3 times D, so 2 B plus 3D. I've got 1A and 4C, so A plus 4C. 1, 4 times BD, so I've got um, B plus 4D. And that's going to be equal to 1, 0, 0, 1. So what we can get from that, um, if I do that in another pen, Better. What I can glean from that is that that element must be the same as that element, that element is the same as that element, and so on. So that means that 2a plus 3c must be 1. I must also have that a plus 4c is 0. I've got 2b plus 3d is equal to 0, and b plus 4d is equal to 1. So I've spaced them out that way because I'm going to have to solve these as simultaneous equations. So if I start with these two equations, I'm going to do the top equation, take away two lots of the bottom, because that will eliminate the A's. So I've got 3C times, uh, take away 8C, so that's minus 5C, and then 1, uh, take away two lots of 0, so it's just 1. So that means that C is minus a fifth. If I put C back into the equation, so if I choose um, this second equation, then that means I've got A minus 4 fifths is equal to 0, so A must be 4 fifths. Now going on to these two equations, if I do uh, the top equation, take away two lots at the bottom, so that will eliminate the Bs. So I've got 3D take away two lots of 4D, so that makes the four, minus 5D again. And that's going to be equal to two, 0, take away two lots of 1, so minus 2. So that means that D is equal to 2 fifths. If I substitute 2 fifths into... Um, well, let's say this one, then I get 8 fifths there, that's 5 fifths, so that's B would have to be minus 3 fifths, I think, I think that's alright, I'll check that into the top equation, minus 3 fifths and minus 6 fifths, uh, plus 6 fifths, yes. So, B, the matrix B, must be equal to 4 fifths, uh, minus 3 fifths, minus 1 fifth, 2 fifths. So that's how we can use a little bit of algebra to work out the missing matrix that will allow me to multiply this matrix by that one to get the identity. 